really as a as a caregiver. Um, on the fifteenth, I I think that was like his worst, 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 worst. Um, God, like the, the symptoms were like oh, the, the lowest, 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 lowest. Um, the doctors did what they could from pain heaven, thanks to them, um, which now um, resulted in him being airlifted to Mill Park on the 16th of July, where he spent two weeks in ICU. Um, during that two weeks, we were officially living at Mill Park. Um, we would go there minimum two times in a day. Um, uh, the calls that we received on a daily were, were, were <sighs> They were really too much. Um, Mr. Shaw fought, he, he, he fought a very hard battle. Um, and it seemed like he had a plan for us as the family to prepare for moments like this in the two weeks because uh, my family turned into having so much faith. We prayed so much from the day that he got sick, but that two weeks was like a a turnaround for, for the family to 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 to, to, to pray and, and have faith and believe that um, Mr. Shaw is coming back home to us. You know, there will be days whereby we would get to the hospital and we would see the nurse panicking, shaking, more or less telling us as family that um, guys we did all we could. This is the time for you to say goodbye. You know, we would just look at them and say no, you know. Do what you need to do. This man is coming back home to us. And Mr. Shaw being the fighter that he was, it's like he was listening to us. Because whatever numbers that we, sh that, that, that we saw on the screens, he literally just picked them up and gave us that hope that he has family and coming back home. Um, he really fought the two weeks. He fought, he, 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 he stayed there for us. Um, we, we prayed, we prayed, and I know he prayed with us because he was a man with massive faith. Um, right now, we're practicing that at home. Um, usually, he was our pillar. He was the one who was actually the leader when it comes to faith, when it comes to praising God, when it comes to believing. And, and now, the family has followed on his footsteps. So... Um, Unfortunately, the, on the midnight of the, just before, on the 29th, around 10 to 12, we received a call again from the hospital after we had actually spent a day, almost a, a whole day there. We received a call on the 29th, um, the doctor saying we should rush to the hospital. Um, we prepared and we went to, to the hospital. Unfortunately, when we get there, we were actually with that, 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 I mean, and we spent the whole night with him until the next day on the 30th. Um, and um, around past seven ish, the doctor came to us and said, Whatever that you guys are doing, keep doing it because he is now stable and looking better. You can go home and freshen up. You'll see him at uh, 12 o'clock noon. So uh, we went with my sister home. Um, uh, I was with my niece as well, Alicia Ferguson. We went back home to freshen up. As soon as we freshened up, we got another call saying, come back to the hospital. Um, that was just before hour past 11. Um, we did um, get ready quickly and we went back to the hospital. Unfortunately, we got there a bit late because we arrived at around 10 past 12. And the doctors now told us that uh, my brother has just left us at 1 to 12. Um, that's where my journey ended as a caregiver. But like my brother had always had faith in me as a sister, as a mother, as a friend. All I can say to him now is, Big bro, your shoes are too big to fill up. But the 20 years that I have known you, I believe I have learned a lot from you. And whatever that I have grasped from you, I promise you I'll do my best to take care of the family or at least to be there for them. I'll do my best to carry on your legacy or at least to assist with it. 
Um, I can promise you that, and I know you believed in me. Thank you so much for everything you have done for me. Thank you so much for not just taking me as a sister, taking me as your daughter. I love you so much. May your soul rest in peace.